is the music, particularly on a Sunday. Based off vibes, like, it's always music in my house. Lovers rock all day long, all day long. Uh... In my household, the setup I would think I'd say like it's just based off vibes. Like there's always music in my house. Like whenever anyone comes to my house, the speakers on, music's playing, my mum's cooking, there's food, everyone's eating, it's good vibes. So I live in Essex now and um, it's a different culture in Essex and there's not many Jamaicans around so um, I'm almost having to manufacture my sort of experiences onto them so I'm constantly on them about understanding and embracing the Jamaican culture. Um, music for one, um, every Sunday we listen to Jamaican music as soon as they wake up we listen to that, that's something my mum used to do all the time and it's funny because little things like that get you to appreciate the music and, and the music and what some of the meanings are behind some of the music and um, it's nice to hear them singing the songs and, and then to hear them understanding what the songs meant and, and why we play it. Um, obviously the food is, is massive, been Jamaica as well, so they, they understand the culture and they understand the people. Well, if I remember, listen, I, I'm a born and bred South London man, born in Lewisham of Jamaican, West Indian parentage. And, I, and that was one area of my life that's been very, very central in so far as socially, culturally, environmentally, sportingly. So, you know, the, the way I, if I kind of try and articulate that in 21st century parlance, I, I'm black, I'm born here, but of Jamaican heritage and parentage. So it's a wonderful eclectic mix of identity, I suppose. And, I, and, and the Jamaican roots is never far away because I love reggae music, I love Jamaican music. You know, I've been to Jamaica several times. I've got a huge family over there. So the, so the alignment, the partnership, I think is absolutely fantastic because, you know, it's a celebration of diversity as well. And the fact that we've got players from, from uh, you know, obviously we've got uh, Young Karoy and Michael Hector, you know, who are part of that reggae boys. And, 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 and also what, I, what South London stands for. I mean, there's a huge demographic of West Indian, Jamaican, um, and, and for me, that's why the club is so special. It's special for a number of reasons, but I think that historically, Cholton has always provided that wonderful potential pathway that players of colour, or Jamaican or West Indian, always very happy to come to a club like Cholton because they felt valued, they felt wanted, and they easily integrated culturally and socially. And I think that, you know, me being sort of, I mean, my career started here in the early 80s, although I've been supporting the club since I was like five and six years of age. So I went to school, you know, at the, at the back of uh, this stand, Woodhill School, you know, there's a huge estate there, uh, Morris Walk Estate. I lived there for many years. So, you know, this club is embedded in every facet of my life. I've come from Hackney where 90% of people are, are from Jamaica or understand the Jamaican culture and how, it, how important it is to us. So I've really embraced that. Um, but for me, obviously playing for Jamaica was one of the, the main factors of, of me, obviously um, embracing the culture and um, playing here at the Valley against, I think it was Ireland, was a massive thing for me and, and my family. And um, I think I needed about 80 tickets that day. So to put on a Jamaican shirt and to, to sing the national anthem at, at my home club in front of my home fans and um, in front of my parents and friends, that was a, a real good achievement for me. Obviously, I grew up in the UK in South London, but my, the interactions that I always had was with Jamaican people, my family is Jamaican, I have a lot of Jamaican friends, so I feel like that decision to play for Jamaican, like, you know it's going to make them, my people that I've spent a lot of time with growing up, really happy. I feel like that, was, that wasn't really an option like, for me to say no or anything like that. I feel like, yeah, I was defi it's definitely going to be a yes.